I think we all agree that being an artist or working in the creative industry isn't walk in the park. You got to face a bunch of challenges like finding inspirations, honing your skills, managing time efficiently, expressing your visions, and reaching your audience. But one of the biggest challenges I've dealt with as an artist is procrastination. Procrastination is a habit of delaying or avoiding stuff you're supposed to do, usually because you don't want to feel bored or just plain lazy. Trust me, I've been there and it messes everything up. I know it's so annoying to have this kind of problem in everyday life, and some of you have no idea how to fix it. That's why I really want to talk about it this time, based on my experience. You know. Procrastination can hit anyone, and this is especially dangerous for artists, as it can hinder their creativity, productivity, and progress. Whether you're an artist, designer, or another creative soul, I bet you've faced this issue too. Procrastination is a common problem many artists deal with, so I thought it'd be cool to dive into it in this video. We all know the feeling: tight deadlines. Tasks to be done or goal to achieve, but instead of diving in, you end up doing nothing and wasting hours on pointless stuff. For instance, you've planned to practice drawing skills, finish work on time, learn the basics of drawing, and even tidy up your room or studio. Then you tell yourself you'll do it later when you feel more motivated or have more time. But later never comes, and you end up rushing to finish the work at the last minute, or worse, missing the opportunity altogether. That's procrastination, and I think it's kind of ongoing problem that has a bad impact on many people. Procrastination isn't just a bad habit; it's a serious issue that can have negative consequences for your academic, professional, and personal life. It can lower your productivity, the quality of your work, and your self-esteem. It's also one of the reasons why artists often experience stress, anxiety. Guilt and regret. Procrastination can prevent you from reaching your full potential and achieving your dreams. This issue is pretty dangerous for an artist if we don't know how to tackle it properly. Back in the day, I used to procrastinate so much on tasks that I should have finished on time, but doing other time-wasting stuff instead. I'd end up rushing to complete my work, or sometimes not doing it at all. It was frustrating, hindering my creativity and progress in my creative process. Of course, it made me frustrated and anxious about myself. Then, I decided to kick that bad habit, even though, truth be told, it was really, really difficult. I realized that procrastination was holding me back from expressing myself and reaching my full potential, because I wanted to be more productive, more successful, and focus on what I was doing. As an artist, I wanted to conquer procrastination for good, so I spent months researching how to fix this issue to make my life better. And after doing so, I came up with my own formula. So, how did I overcome procrastination as an artist? Well, there is no magic solution that fits everyone. I know it's kind of tough for some folks to fix it, but I found my own strategies that help me deal with this issue. Maybe you guys can adapt to my approach to stay clear of procrastinating. The first step in tackling procrastination is identifying why I procrastinate. I started asking myself why I open a very task or creative project that I should be able to complete on time. Is it because I'm afraid of failure, rejections, or criticism? Am I worried that my work isn't interesting enough, and perhaps it's because I fear harsh judgment from others, or that I disappoint myself and others? Also, am I feeling bored, tired, or distracted by other things? And is it because I find my routines too dull, too challenging, or not relevant to my interests or goals? Could it be that I lack clear direction or inspirations, or do I have an exciting ideas about what I want to create and? Why is it important and meaningful to me? By understanding the root causes of my procrastinations, I can address and find solution to the problem I have all this time. For instance, I can combat my negative thoughts, find ways to make tasks more enjoyable and beneficial, or seek guidance and advice from others. After identifying and understanding the root causes of procrastinations, 
The next thing I did to tackle it was to have a clear vision of what I wanted to achieve as an artist. A specific, realistic and meaningful vision that inspires me, motivates me and guides me. For instance, my vision is to create beautiful and expressive digital images that capture the emotion and personalities of my subjects. A clear vision helps me set goals and make well thought of plans. Developing a clear vision is a fundamental step in overcoming procrastination and promoting personal and artistic growth. When we declare a vision that's not only specific but also realistic and meaningful, we give ourselves a directed roadmap toward our artistic aspirations. Let's take an example. You've got visions to create beautiful and expressive portraits that intimately capture the emotion and personalities of the subjects. This vision serves as a compass to guide every artistic endeavor with purpose and passions. It goes beyond a mere desire to create art. It becomes a source of inspirations and a driving force that encourages us forward. Even in the face of procrastinations, when goals are clear and focused, motivation naturally follows. You know, a specific vision can streamline the goal-setting process. With overarching goals, we can create emotionally charged and high-quality work, and we can break down these aspirations into manageable and smaller targets. These goals become key milestones that allow us to measure progress and achievement along the way. The clarity of visions helps us avoid the pitfalls of vague and undefined ambition. Well, a clear vision has the potential to empower strategic planning. It allows us to detail the necessary steps, allocate resources effectively, and set a timeline for achieving our artistic goals. The visions acting as a foundation ensures that our plan aligns with our main objectives, avoiding disruptions and obstacles that may lead to procrastinations. When used effectively, Visions infuses meaning into our artistic activities. It transformed the act of creating portraits from a mere task into a meaningful journey of self-expression and connections. When the vision is deeply meaningful, it serves as a reminder of why our art matters and strengthens our commitment to overcoming procrastination and persevering through challenges. Essentially, a clear vision acts as a trigger for directed and structured actions. It transforms a vague desire to create art into a compelling mission, a journey divined by goals, inspirations, and personal significance. As an artist, it's not just about avoiding procrastinations, it's also about embracing a vision that propels us towards sustainable growth, fuels our creativity, and realizes our artistic aspirations. And the next step I took to overcome procrastination was to create a schedule for myself. A schedule that fits my lifestyle, preferences and needs. A schedule that helps me organize my time, prioritize my tasks and maintain a balance between work and life. For instance, I've got a schedule that involves working on my artistic activities for 5 to 9 hours each day, taking a lunch break, doing some household chores exercising and relaxing for the rest of the day. A schedule helps me create routines, disciplines and habits for my work. Let's consider, for instance, a personalized schedule tailored to the unique needs of an artist. Devoting five to nine hours every morning to the creative process lays a solid foundation for consistent and meaningful progress. The predetermined time allocations emphasizes the importance of prioritizing creative efforts, ensuring that artists engage with their artwork with high level of depth and focus. However, you don't necessarily have to spend five to nine hours every day on the creative process. When talking about the durations in the creative process, it should be adjusted to everyone's needs because everyone has different needs and patterns in the creative process. You can create your own versions of schedule that suits your needs and preferences. And the most important thing is to create an effective schedule that makes you comfortable in the creative process. Creating an effective schedule is a crucial step in overcoming procrastination that can hinder artistic endeavors. A well-structured schedule not only adapts to the unique lifestyle, preferences and needs of an individual, but also serves as a 
powerful tool for time management, task prioritization, and achieving a harmonious balance between work and life. This balance is essential for our mental and physical health because with a healthy mind and body, all our activities can run smoothly and purposefully. Incorporating breaks such as lunch breaks and the like serves to purposes. It not only allows for nutrition and physical refreshment, but also acts as a mental reset. These short breaks help prevent prolonged fatigue and maintain a sustainable rhythm of activities throughout the day. Additionally, in this person creative sessions with activities like household chores, exercise and relaxation stimulates a holistic approach to well-being recognizing that artistic fulfillment is complexly linked to overall health and balance. The essence of well-designed schedule lies not only in determining how time is spent, about informing routines, disciplines and habits for artistic work. By adhering to a consistent schedule, artists train their minds and bodies to anticipate and engage in creative efforts at designated times. This routine produces the uncertainty that often leads to procrastinations, replacing it with a sense of predictability and sensitivity in one's artistic practice. You know, discipline cultivated through the repetition of well thought out and matches schedule becomes a potent tool against procrastinations. It transforms artistic work from uncertain activity into a regular commitment and strengthens the artist's dedication to their craft. Just as muscles strengthen and form through consistent exercise, significant achievements are honed through routines and discipline instilled by a well-structured schedule. Fundamentally, a thoughtfully designed schedule becomes more than just a time management tool. It evolves into a dynamic framework supporting an artist's journey. It can serve as a foundation where creativity can flourish, providing the necessary structure for creative work while adapting to the ebb and flow of everyday life. When an artist adheres to a sage tailored to them, they not only overcome the habit of procrastination but also cultivate an environment where creativity thrives, habits forms, and artistic aspirations turn into tangible achievement. Then I tried to find resources that could help me learn and create art, resources that are relevant, reliable and accessible, something that could teach me new skills, techniques and concepts, essentially things that could inspire, challenge and support me. For example, I found resources by reading books, watching videos, taking online courses and exploring online galleries. I discovered resources by being proactive and fostering curiosity within myself. So I'm always motivated to keep learning and creating quality work. The crucial next step in combating the habit of procrastination in the art world is to engage in exploration and strategically utilize valuable resources, acquiring knowledge, honing skills and drawing inspiration from various sources not only enriches one's artistic creativity but also act as an effective remedy against tendencies that can be caused by procrastinations. Building a proactive and reliable learning approach becomes crucial in this transformative process. This journey often begins with deliberate search for resources that are not only relevant, but also reliable and accessible. This can be done through various avenues available to an artist looking to expand their artistic horizon. For instance, liberating books with their timeless wisdom serving as in-depth exploration of various art techniques and theory stands as a fundamental resource. I think reading not only imparts knowledge but also serves as a contemplative exercise fostering a deeper understanding of art principles. I always complement learning with visual and modern approaches which have proven to be engaging resources. For instance, I often watch videos on social media such as tutorials, documentaries, podcasts or artist interviews. For me, this provides a broad perspective and a dynamic depth to the learning experience. This form of learning is highly flexible, making it easily accessible and appealing to a wide audience. The current digital era has brought 
unprecedented accessibility to online learning becoming a valuable resource for artists and audiences seeking structured, interactive and modern learning experiences. In the virtual realm, online galleries serve as inspirational sources. Browsing through the works of other artists not only exposes individuals to different styles and techniques but also ignites the spark of creativity and enhances enthusiasm for the creative process. Observing the artistic journey of others can be motivating and enlightening, offering fresh perspective and insights that can encourage one's artistic explorations. Cultivating curiosity is a key in this effort. Being open to exploring various resources from traditional to contemporary allows an artist to build a personal strategy for sustainable growth. A reliable mindset involves actively seeking new materials, techniques and perspectives, ensuring a flow of quality, inspiration and knowledge. In conclusion, proactive pursuit and the use of diverse, relevant and accessible resources are crucial steps in overcoming procrastinations in the artistic journey. By reshaping the learning experience through books, videos, online courses, galleries and communities, Artists not only expand their skills, but also strengthen their resolve to create valuable and quality works. In this ever-evolving landscape of artistic explorations, being curious, reliable and proactive transform the quest for knowledge into a dynamic and satisfying expedition. The final step that you can take to overcome this matter is to enjoy the process of learning and creating art. I know this process is not always easy, smooth or quick. It's filled with challenges, failures and frustrations. Yet it's also full of joy, success and satisfactions. Therefore, it's not surprising that many people may not enjoy the process. However, when we examine this process, it often proves to be unique and meaningful. Just like I do, I enjoy this process by focusing on the present, not the future. I release the process of expressing myself with passions, authenticity, and originality. In the journey to overcome procrastinations, especially in the realm of artistic expressions, equally important is cultivating profound joy in the process of learning and creating. Recognizing that this process is immensely complex, filled with challenges, failures, frustrations, joy, successes, and satisfactions. The artist's ability to embrace this concept allows finding satisfactions in the journey itself rather than being solely fixated on the goal, becoming the foundation for sustained motivations and creative fulfillment. Based on my experience, the artistic journey is essentially a winding path marked by obstacles and victories. Every brush strokes, every drawn line and every creative decision contribute to a highly personal narrative. In other words, it's a journey of self-discovery where artists refine not only technical skill but also delve into the depths of their own emotions, perspectives and creative instincts. The dichotomy between challenge and happiness becomes the heartbeat of this journey, with every ebb and flow contributing to an artist's artistic achievements. Understanding that the process is not always easy, smooth or quick is a crucial paradigm shift. It liberates artists from the perfectionist pressure that can sometimes be constricting and allows for explorations of various techniques, style and concepts. Embracing the inevitability of challenges and failures as a real part of the creative process fosters resilience and perseverance. In fact, if observed carefully, the failures can become stepping stones and provide valuable lessons that drive an artist's progress rather than serving as obstacles. Similarly, acknowledging that the process is unique, challenging and satisfying is a key. It's important to know that no artistic journey is identical and the beauty lies in this diversity. What works as a successful approach or formula for one artist may not always work for another. Embracing individuality and allowing the creative process to develop organically is something beautiful. Fundamentally, an artist's voice emerges not from conformity, but from honest and unfiltered self-expression. For me, finding happiness in the process is way easier when you focus on the present instead of being stuck in an uncertain future. 
By diving into the creative moment right now, artists can enjoy the process to the fullest without worrying about unpredictable future. I mean, by concentrating on the present, we're more likely to achieve our artistic goals. On the flip side, if we're always stressing about uncertain future, it just leads to chaos and failure. This awareness not only enhances the quality of our work, but also transforms the creative process into a deep sort of satisfaction. In essence, the final step in overcoming procrastinations in the realm of art isn't just about completing tasks. It's about immersing ourselves in the creative flow. Embrace challenges, failures, happiness and success as integral parts of this journey. And then find happiness in a unique, personal and fulfilling process. And equally important is the transformations of artistic efforts from mere task into a profound exploration and satisfying self-expression. I think that's enough for today. And I just want to say that I realize the points I explained may not always resonate with everyone. Every individual and artist have different patterns, preferences and personalities. However, at the very least, the experiences I've shared might be useful for some people and could lead to better results. Alright, if you got another opinion about this topic, please share it in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get the latest updates on the next video. May your days be filled with creativity. See you again.